As the vampire's eyes were brought to focus, she could see Victoria in her sights. Her eyes widened with a deathly rage. Her hands instinctively reached for her enchanted Beruvian blades and found nothing but empty space. She growled with anger and lunged toward Victoria. She violently crashed into a magic barrier and her body ricocheted to the floor onto her back. The vampire shot up from the floor with an aggressive yet fearful agitation as she put her back to the wall and produced a low, consistent growling that you could feel in your chest. She frantically moved her gaze between Victoria, Cassidra, and the room's surroundings. I can feel the gears in your mind turning through your options. I can assure you, vampire, there is no way for you to escape from here. The vampire fiercely growled mixed with a yell in Cassidra's direction. It should be obvious to you by now that we do not want you dead. There are too many critical questions to be exchanged between us. And our time is impartial to the desperate needs of this world. The vampire just paced back and forth, snarling through rage-filled eyes, burning death into Victoria and Cassidra. I know your questions seek answers. Burl and the Seraphic Kingdom are driven by a curiosity that seems to connect you to their questions. We Araja have ancient manuscripts that point to something like you with our own set of queries. The face beyond the Kulra put us together for reasons unattached to our knowing right now. So I strongly suggest we make haste toward working together on this. We are not meant to be enemies quite yet, Vampyr. The Vampyr stopped pacing and being surly, then finally spoke. I'm listening. So talk, Araja. Your existence brings us some answers, but those answers are followed by a perpetual depth of new inquiries. My name is Cassidra Hightower, and in the realm of the Araja, my hundreds of living years have seen many lifetimes come and go, but I have never witnessed anything like you. You simultaneously bring exhilaration and terror to my doorstep. I'm not sure how I'm taking that just yet. Inside many Araja circles, I am known as the paleographer of all the existing ancient Araja texts. Some of these texts are dated back to the time before, if one needs the interpretation behind these ancient words, then they come to me. Now, what seem to be entertaining stories as I first read them have become drenched with drops of truth in this reality. Vampire, unfortunately, you bring validation to the dark corners holding fearful whispers, yet my intuitive sense tells me you are not one with the darkness. You are something else entirely. Sorry, it is so rude of me to ramble on like this. I should stop before my historical inquisitiveness completely tunnels my thoughts. Let me introduce you to... No need, Cassidra. We battled warrior to warrior. She deserves to hear it directly from me. My apologies for placing you within this arrangement, Vampire. Not exactly my first choice, but I am sure you can understand that you are a high-level dangerous combatant, so extra precautions had to be put in place. I affirm to you, all this comes to you from a venue of grand respect. The vampire released a gnarly sound caught somewhere between respectful acceptance and disdain. I am Victoria Chastain. Cassidra taught me everything I know about being an Araja. I fight under the Handfire Covenant banner the same as she does. But since I am a Lady Myostopic, my Kulra energy is blended to the green. But unknown to you, vampire, you have been caught in our circumference for some time now. Cassidra commissioned me to follow you discreetly since you started venturing through the towns of Didara, Finash, and now here in Balaria as you chased the Purple Light. We have been investigating the Purple Light disappearances from behind the shadows, as we did not want to raise an alarm to the Kingdom without enough information. This is when you came into our purview. But you, you were somehow already on this trail long before it came to our attention. The questions on the top of my mind are why and how. I think this is a good time for the vampire to start talking, Victoria. Your name might be a good place for you to start, vampire. I can start with that, then. The name affixed to me under the light of the Six Lands is Hikari Tomo. But you, Orajas, can call me Tomo. Hikari Tomo, hm. ancient names from a tongue lost to history. Hikari, which means light, and Tomo, which means to combine wisdom and intellect. Fascinating. I have so many more questions now. Okay, Tomo, let's go with the obvious question first. 
Why are you in pursuit of this purple? Before Cassidra could finish with her question, Tomo grunted in pain, <gasps> fell to one knee and grabbed the sides of her head with both hands. My dear, are you okay? Tomo slowly rose up as the anguish on her face eroded away. Tomo, I'm okay. A vision suddenly pierced my mind and spirit. In fact, it was two visions with such a painful strength behind them. I... I never felt them like this before. Tomo's eyes faded into the undercurrent of her thoughts. Tomo. Tomo. What did you see? Uh, uh, each vision starts with the same imagery and emotional vibration. I start to feel a cold darkness seep into my bones. And then a haunted voice says my name through the darkness. The voice seems to be drawing me to it in a way that I can't explain. It tells me to follow the purple light and I will have the answers that I seek. Then I experience the absolute terror of those engulfed by the purple light before I'm shown their exact location. Things are accelerating. We need to hurry. Where are the two new purple light locations? Transing in the western banks of the third land and Astoros at the southern tip of the fourth land. We will need to split up then so we can cover more ground. Victoria, take Tomo with you to Istoros, since it is the farthest location and the two of you can ride now. Burl and his men will still need a couple of hours to be travel ready. I will send them to Transing to investigate the disappearance there. I will travel to the Araja Temple. I have a theory I need to follow up on, so I need to get in front of the ancient manuscripts. When you are done in Istoros, meet me at the Araja Temple Library. Hopefully, we can uncover a clear path to travel by then. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe as this really helps our channel.